Today, we are going to discuss a comic book that did indeed move the needle in the 1990s, but it is also by a very good friend of Comicsgate. That's right, Don Tucci, AKA Billy Tucci, AKA William Tucci, AKA your favorite furry, Whiskers Tucci's. We're gonna talk about his creation, She. This is the fan appreciation edition of She, Way of the Warrior, number one. This was reprinted a year after uh, it originally came out. Uh, it's not considered a second printing though, it's simply the fan appreciation edition. And when we open it, immediately, you are going to notice a very sexy woman who is completely nude with uh, only her hair and a shadow covering her magic places. And this was watercolored. You'll notice uh, as we go through this book that everything is, is done in watercolor, which gives it a very different vibe than most of the comics we're used to, which are all colored digitally. Uh, this is a great prelude. Uh, Billy put a lot of effort into the world that she exists in. And I'm just gonna go through this thing because it's great. Uh, I really enjoyed reading this. Enliven the mind without dwelling on anything to achieve the way. The mind must be focused. It must be free, butt shot, free from the pain of yesterday, the fear of tomorrow, the storm of today. Arashi! 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 And this is actually based on uh, an incredibly famous piece of art from Japan, uh, and it, it escapes me the title of that painting. Uh, the one thing that's really missing is the boat uh, of the men as they go out to sea. The Great Wave off Kanagawa is a woodblock print by the Japanese artist Hokusai. It was published sometime between 1829 and 1833 in the late Edo period as the first print in Hokusai's series, 36 Views of Mount Fuji. It is Hokusai's most famous work, and one of the most recognizable works of Japanese art in the world. The image depicts an enormous wave threatening boats off the coast of the town of Kanagawa, the present-day city of Yokohama. While sometimes assumed to be a tsunami, the wave is more likely to be a large rogue wave. As in many of the prints in the series, it depicts the area around Mount Fuji, under particular conditions, and the mountain itself appears in the background. Hokusai began painting when he was six years old. At twelve, his father sent him to work at a bookseller's. By sixteen, he was apprenticed as an engraver and spent three years learning the trade. Hokusai drew many waves throughout his career. The genesis of the great wave can be traced back over thirty years. The combination of wave and mountain was inspired by an oil painting by Shiba Kokan, an artist strongly influenced by the Western art particularly Dutch paintings he had seen in Nagasaki, the only port open to foreigners in this period. The composition comprises three main elements, the sea whipped up by a storm, three boats, and a mountain. It includes the signature in the upper left-hand corner. The snow-capped Mount Fuji, considered sacred and a symbol of national identity, as well as a symbol of beauty, is an iconic figure in many Japanese representations of famous places as is the case in Hokusai's series of 36 views of Mount Fuji, which opens with this present scene. The dark color around Mount Fuji seems to indicate that the scene occurs early in the morning, with the sun rising from behind the observer, illuminating the mountain's snowy peak. While cumulonimbus storm clouds seem to be hanging in the sky between the viewer and Mount Fuji, no rain is seen in the foreground or on Mount Fuji itself. The three boats seen are used to transport live fish from the Izu and Boso peninsulas, to the market of the Bay of Ido. There are eight rowers in the boats, clinging to their oars. There are two more passengers in the front of each boat, bringing the total number of human figures in the image to 30. The print is one of the most reproduced and instantly recognized artworks in the entire world. Vincent van Gogh, a great admirer of Hokusai, praised the quality of drawing and use of line in the Great Wave, and said it had a terrifying emotional impact. And it's kind of interesting because a Japanese person uh, would read this book from right to left. And so uh, in that famous artwork I'm referring to, you see a boat here. And as, as, as Westerners, we see uh, the boat and we see the wave crashing. And it looks to us, because we go from left to right, that the boat is going into land. But if you are Japanese and you look at the same uh, the same 
piece of art, you see that the boat is actually going out to sea and is confronting this wave, not escaping it. And uh, as you can see, she's not escaping the wave. She's not escaping the wave. She's not escaping the wave. It is time. Use your anger to throw them into disarray. Use humility to make them haughty. Tire them by flight. Cause division among them. Make your move when they do not expect it. Be extremely subtle, even to the point of formlessness. Be extremely mysterious, even to the point of soundlessness. All of this is the words of Sun Tzu, the art of war. Thereby, you can be the director of your opponent's fate. C Crusade Comics presents William Tucci's She in The Way of the Warrior, Part 1. Crusade Comics is Billy's own imprint, his own comic book company. He started it just so he could release She and be free uh, from the shackles of giant corporations. Fate for the woman who is Anna Ishikawa, who is me and yet not me. Its meaning is rooted in the past. From deep within a child's memory have issued all the events that now seem predetermined. Events that have carried me so far from Japan, from all that was meant by home to a strange and new world, with few of the old familiar things. The Naginata is one. In the monasteries of Nara of Kyoto, trusted by the fathers of the fathers, the way the Sohi trust the shadows, Shadows are the same everywhere. And so, though the form that brutality takes may vary, the response to it does not. The doors close as the senses begin to search. Thanks for coming to my rescue, officer. What the hell are we doing, guys? The doctor just said hit him and run. The ear catches sound and draws one closer. Shut up, JJ, and keep stroking your flashlight. I want to have some fun. Please. I mean, we never come across something like this. A cop who can satisfy us being a... What? A woman. Ugh. She's got a bad sure. But she'd still be a good-looking bitch. Too much talk means you cannot hear. The sound of that which approaches. So they're gonna basically, like, rape and murder a female cop. New York's finest. Let's see how fine you are, baby. At first, they might appear to be wild animals. But the way they arrive at their decisions suggests a form of domestication, of organization. Still, organization alone does not bring honor. It is the one thing through the centuries that we have sworn to uphold. What the hell was that? Kingdoms change hands, but the way never changes. Who the fuck is there? Danny, you screwing around? It is the code. It is Bushido. For you, I am death that is now living. Like those who came before me, my actions require no thought. And it is the absence of thought which enables one to feel the presence of the past, frees one to live by action alone. Oh, and we're gonna have a poster here. <whistles> Smoking hot artwork. So this is what uh, Billy Tucci's art looks like when it's colored uh, digitally in a computer. And that is gorgeous. I mean, what more do I need to say? That is absolutely stunning to look at. But back to our story. The dance of battle is always played to the same impatient rhythm. What begins in a surge of violent motion is always reduced to the perfectly still. The one with the firearm asks if I am ready to die, but the hesitation I sense shows that he is not fully prepared to kill. A coward who survives the battle believes he has achieved a small measure of victory. A warrior knows that the coward has lost all that he was ever fighting for. So what's going on here? We got a lot of flashbacks. It's kind of interesting. The senses stay alert, 
even as the blood returns to its slower channels. She will live, for the moment she is like me, not conscious of all that has just transpired. In five minutes, perhaps ten, the mind will revive its love of details, of numbers, how many slain, and how many of my heartbeats did it take? Morning at New York Hospital, except this is not like other mornings. Not for NYPD detectives Joe LaBianca and Peter Denise. Sorry you wasted a trip down here. When the, officers regain consciousness, when the officer regains consciousness, you'll be notified immediately. Remember to cover your badge as we wade through the hyena pack. Hey, what's the brute about, kid? Well, what do you expect? This is the sixth time in a little over a month we got an orchestrated cop killing on our hands, and our only suspects were hacked into goulash, now being served up at the city morgue. Take it easy, Pete. You're exaggerating. They looked more like sloppy joes than goulash. I'm just not going to buy into this psycho vigilante crap in the papers. You mean you don't like machete-wielding maniacs saves cop? I'm not crazy about it, no. I like that it's a professional job more, but we're getting ahead of ourselves. We just gotta wait until forensics checks in. Until then, we'll say we inspect the crime scene in the daylight. Fine by me. Hospitals depress me anyway. Too many people waiting for bad things to happen. Hello, Oiki Gallery. Yes, I am calling from the offices of Arashiyama International. Is Miss Ishikawa in? Anna Ishikawa speaking. How may I help you? Uh, thank you, but I call merely to finalize the meeting to take place between the interested parties. Mr. Okazaki has agreed to tomorrow morning at 10, if that is acceptable too. Just a moment, please. Click. And then homeboy gets on and he speaks in Japanese. I understand that you have a particular print for me. Miss Ishikawa, are you there? Yes, yes, of course I'm here. It's just that the, the print, Sharaku's The Final Right, of Kusunoki. I have it hanging here in the office, and it is literally quite breathtaking. Now, I'm wondering, is this painting alive? Is that what I'm supposed to gather from this? Is this Ghostbusters 2? I think it is. And then, look at this. This is where I want to live, right here. Of course it is, and I want to believe that it is the sole cause for the hesitancy I detected. That is to say, I hope that you and the owner are not having doubts about entrusting such a treasure to my safekeeping. No, not at all, Mr. Arashi. As you learned from Mrs. Okazaki herself, she will allow the purchase to be made only by a fellow national, precisely because what we are dealing with is so much more than simply a material object. I am in entirely in agreement. In fact, it occurs to me that it almost doesn't seem possible that such a treasure could go undetected for so long and remain in such unbelievably pristine condition especially in a world where banditry and savagery are now so depressingly commonplace. One never knows quite whom to trust, does one. Mr. Arashi. See, see the machete-wielding maniac? See, this is the story about her and what just happened in the book, right? So now it's on the front page of the news. And our cops were talking about it in the hospital. Mr. Arashi, I can assure you that the print's authenticity is beyond question. We have a notarized certificate of approval from the National Ministry of Arts and Sciences in Kyoto. And further, I apologize if my incredulity gave offense. It is just that some things are, as they say, almost too good to be true. You see, my shame now compels me to confide to you that I have always felt that this particular print to be linked somehow to my destiny. This is the full print. I do not know what to say, sir, except that I share your feeling and that I look forward greatly to making your acquaintance at the appointed hour. Good day, Arashi-san. Arashiyama in the cold moonlight. To some, it means tranquility, affluence, respectability. But to those who honor the truth, the private entrance, the private car, the private walls, which conceal the very private life. These are all but signs of the place to which the beast retires from that which stalks it. Koji? Hi, Arashi-sama. I will be up shortly. I must attend to this poor soul. So you got this guy digging in a dumpster for some food. Do not make me wait too long, Masahiro. Do not worry, my dear. I won't. Sinister look on his face. 
we have this picture here, which means nothing to us at the moment. Harold, is that really you, my friend? Uh, good evening. I thought we had discussed the subject of your going through my refuse bins. I, I was just looking for something to eat, Mr. Orashi-san. In feudal Japan, the peasantry was subject to Burai Uchi by their samurai lord. Do you have any idea what that is? No, Mr. Arashasan. What is it? It means, and I don't know what this means yet. We're going to find out. But she's dressed very similar to how Anna Ishikawa is dressed in the green here. Mm hmm. Okay. It means this, and he stabs him in the belly to be killed for insolence. The searing pain. Oh, the searing pain you are now experiencing is blood pouring into your lungs and intestines. Oh, why? Because you do not deserve to die like a man. You must die slowly. Through suffering, you will come to the realization of what a disgrace you truly are. And then there's that picture again, the blood and the coin. Let's piece that together from there to there to here. You have dishonored me for the last time. Lord, Lord, help one of your children. Help me. Oh God, oh God bless. Are you an angel? It hurts so much. Let me see this. Is this around his neck? Who is this? I mean, it's not around her neck. Let's just look again. Just make sure. I don't see that in any shots anywhere. So I'm not sure where the cross is coming from. It hurts so much. It hurts so. And then this again. So, I mean, I guess what they're trying to tell us is that he maybe murdered her family, and now she's looking for revenge. It's kind of a little vague, Billy. F forgive me. Please, all of you. Forgive me. To be continued. And I don't know what's going on with the white girl. Uh, this, uh, this Gajan doesn't belong here. One of these things is not like the other. So here Billy Tucci tells us how it really is. Friends, it's been five years since I last armored up and played a solid game of ice hockey. Four years since I fired an M16 and fell out of the sky with only silk to slow my descent. The last time I took a long ride on a motorcycle was almost three years ago. A year and a half since I last had a good old fashioned barroom brawl. Whoa, Billy. Does this senseless torrent of babbling machismo have anything to do with Crusade and Anna Ishikawa? Well, yes. To be honest, it has plenty to do with both. You see, it's been a year since she number one hit the stands. Many people have expressed regrets to me that they missed it and that I should reprint it. So I said, okay. As I put it back together, resoliciting it, arranging advertising, pulling out the old film, picking the right posters to be recolored and inserted and illustrating a new cover, a wave of nostalgia swept over me. I began to reflect upon my state of mind one year ago and realized that something is missing. I remembered a hunger and zest for life that flowed through my veins, a passion that always led me to try as many things as possible. Had I lost that? Now please, don't get me wrong. I wouldn't take any career over self-publishing. I love it. I love having the freedom to publish what I feel in my heart and mind, the joy of seeing something I've created coming to life before my very eyes, and most of all, the letters I've received from people from all over the world. Creating is what it's all about for me, but being so consumed with deadlines, solicitations, invoices, purchase orders, paper choices, printers, and other aspects of the business can be a great strain. Not that it's the nervous breakdown type of stress, just your average day-to-day -day franticness that leaves you exhausted and a bit burned out. Starting a new company is very time-consuming. Give up the idea of having a normal life, of going on vacation, of having time to just hang out with your buddies, of having quiet, languid time with your girlfriend, of feeling a whim and just going with it. The moment you consider any of these simple pleasures, the phone rings with someone else demanding something else from you now, immediately. If they don't get it yesterday, unimaginable catastrophe will befall you. So why do I do it? Because you gain far more than you lose. You gain wisdom. You develop professionalism. You improve your craft until it begins to reach heights you never could have imagined. 
Few people are as lucky as I have been. The encouragement, help, and praise I've received from professionals and fans alike has been unbelievable. I've found a whole culture of people who respond positively to what I want to do with all my heart and soul. Where else, how else, would I get that kind of affirmation? I love this business. I love my work. And it's worth all the sacrifices and more. I guess what I'm trying to say is that this issue has set a fire in my belly once again. Together, the creators of this book forged a new adventure. When I began Crusade, I had never produced a comic before. Can you believe that? Before Homeboy made this, he'd never made a comic before? That's insane to think about. When I began Crusade, I had never produced a comic before. I knew nothing about how a book was created, put together, and printed. But I knew that nothing was going to stop us. It was an exciting, uncertain time, but we believed in ourselves and the book. Many mistakes were made, but we learned and pushed forward, striving to improve every aspect of the book. This book represents a part of us all. Everyone you see named on this credit page played an integral part in its creation, and I couldn't have done it without them. I considered recoloring this reissue to distinguish it from its predecessor, but computer coloring, no matter how advanced, cannot capture the care and skill brought to it by Barry Orkin. It is unfortunate that current printing standards cannot begin to do his work justice. Such deficiencies can be the most frustrating part of this whole game. This book represents a piece of us all, all players on a team that for a short time added something special and fresh to the comic book industry. When we began, there was no bad girl craze, no promise of success, no guarantee that we would even sell enough copies to pay our debts, let alone move on to a second issue. It was a simple, scary, wonderful time in my life when a few souls came together to create something for which they could all be proud. Deus le volt, William Tucci, President. As God wills it, she was created. I love this book. I love the watercolor look. Uh, I love this unique cover here. You don't see a lot of stuff like this. I love Billy's, I love, I love that we captured a moment in Billy Tucci's life here uh, with this. And this really is Comicsgate, isn't it? Uh, this is everything that Comicsgate is. Back the video up, listen to it again. Uh, maybe I'll scan this in and share it because we should not forget, we should remind Don Tucci uh, what it was like for him back in the 90s when he did this. Remind him of what, what is waiting for him in Comicsgate. We know what it is because he tells us. You gain far more than you lose. You gain wisdom. You develop professionalism. You improve your craft until it begins to reach heights you would never have imagined. Few people are as lucky as I have been. The encouragement, help, and praise I've received from professionals and fans alike has been unbelievable. I've found a whole culture of people that's Comicsgate, who respond positively to what I want to do with all my heart and soul. Where else other than Comicsgate? How else without Comicsgate would I get that kind of affirmation? I love this business. I love my work. And it's worth all the sacrifices and more. And I love this comic. I love this art, whether it's watercolor or whether it's digitally painted. It doesn't matter to me. It is, it is absolutely stunning. It's a great story. It's a great comic. I have five more issues of this I am going to read this week and talk about uh, sometime next week and let you know if you should really uh, delve into She. Billy Tucci is about to bring She back on Indiegogo. I'm very excited about it, and you should be excited about it too. I hope that this look through She, The Way of the Warrior, number one, inspired you to follow Billy Tucci on YouTube and uh, will hopefully have you uh, get into She. And it will hopefully uh, bring you to contribute to Billy's Indiegogo when it launches because this is the bad girl craze coming back. The opportunity to see women drawn attractively. Uh, the opportunity for women to be beautiful, intelligent, artistic, and badass. It's coming back. It, it's, it's what should have never gone. And I don't, I don't know how much more I have to say. This is She by Billy Tucci. This is uh, where the bad girl craze started in comic books. And uh, this is right where the bad girl craze is going to pick back up on Indiegogo through Comicsgate. So go find this 
in your local back issue bins. I can't believe it. I got this for 50 friggin' cents. Can you believe that? Worth every penny. I would have, I would have gladly paid five dollars to read this. So this is a shining example of how you move the needle. This is a shining example of what Comicsgate wants to be. It wants to be original. It wants to be unique. It wants to be innovative. It wants to show you things in a new way. It wants to give you an in-depth story that you can hold on to, that you can take pride in, that you can be proud to tell other comic book fans, yeah, I read She. I read Comicsgate. I am Comicsgate. So I appreciate all of you. And I appreciate uh, any opportunity you give me to talk to you about comic books. And I appreciate any opportunity you give any Comicsgate artist uh, to earn your money with their work because that's what it's all about uh, is, is being able to make a living off of fulfilling your dreams and entertaining other people. There's, there is nothing better for the creative type than to, uh, than to make you forget about your troubles for half an hour, to make you get swept up into a, into a world you normally wouldn't be a part of, uh, maybe a world you never knew existed.